All right, today we're going to be installing some lights onto our road track. The key with these guys here is you want to find one that has motion sensor detection and an on off switch is a must. These are of course solar powered. We're going to be using some double sided tape my favorite, onto the back of the full perimeter of these guys here. One other modification I made, you'll notice that in the picture it has this top lip with a screw hole for mounting. Yeah, I, uh, yeah, just chopped those guys off just for a better look and just not to have that extra lip on the top. So let's get these taped up and we'll get to the van. So the first spot I'm going to put the light in is right here beside the vent on the driver's side. By putting it in that spot there, it's going to light up for the entire side of the van and it's going to have a little bit of extra security in case anybody comes to your driver's side door. All right, got this light in here, happy with the positioning, kind of centered it between these two windows, kind of straight down. This light spreads out very wide. It's going to cover the entire length of the van front to back. And it's also going to alert you if anybody comes towards this door. The sensor range on these is very wide. I'll be doing a demo of when it's dark. Those of you who are my highly observant viewers would have noticed that there was only three lights near the box, but the box had a pack of four. This is the light I initially put in and was so happy with. Whenever I'd come back here at night to either unload the bike or to get into the back into the trunk, this light was amazing. And just letting me know if anyone is around. And also when you're coming to the van in pitch blackness, it's always nice to have a light at the end of the tunnel. The next light we're putting up is right over top of the door. I'm gonna place it just in front of the crank for the awning. Man, I really need a new cover. But yeah, we're gonna be uh, rubbing this down with some alcohol, cleaning it, and we're gonna to try to center it between the uh, front of the crank and the front of the door. All right, light installed. I like the positioning of it. I like the look of it. They're pretty slim, so it's more aerodynamic than the awning, so it should be fine. Now, the final one. This is this is a little different. We're not putting this on the outside of the van, rather on the inside, right here, actually. Now, by putting that light here, it's gonna light up this whole area every time you open up the door. Uh, these don't require a lot of sun to work and having the trifecta of windows up in the top is going to allow some light to come down in that direction and hit that panel to probably give it enough light to run those LEDs. So again, alcohol, a little tip for you as well. When you're taking the tape off the back of these lights, get a razor blade, get underneath the edge and just use it like a pick to start them. Using your finger, it's, it's not, it's not going to work. So yeah. Exacto knife, alcohol, cleaning the area. Let's get this one in. All right, and there you have it. Light is installed. It's nice and tucked in under that cushion, so it's not going to be in the way. And it's so nice to have this area lit up when you're stepping into the van, as opposed to just having the two lights in the front of the cab light up when you open this door. Well, there's one more light you could install for security purposes on a budget, and you can get it on Amazon. It's this little guy right here. All it is, it's a little solar panel in there and there's one little red LED. I don't know if you can see it. There it is. But it just lights up in the front and uh, fires probably every five seconds or so. And this is the same as in my Volvo. Now my Volvo, it has a built-in alarm system and it lets everybody know that by having that red light on the dash. This comes with an adhesive. You can plug it in, there's an on off switch. I think it was like five, 10 bucks. But I'm gonna put this on my dash. And again, just as, a deter just as a deterrent for anybody who's looking to break into vehicles, sometimes just seeing that alarm light on a car or having these lights come on when they get within 10 feet of the van, it's gonna be enough of a deterrent for them not to come and try to break in and steal your stuff. Right. So I'm gonna put mine right in between the wipers here. That's where it's gonna have the best area for viewing. We're gonna clean it up with a little alcohol because it's very dirty. Maybe we're gonna clean it a little more. All right, we're just gonna use the adhesive strip that's on there. Key here is make sure you identify where the LED is on the unit first, as before adhering this to the dash, you want it pointing outward. 
And we're gonna get her nice and centered there. And that looks good. So that's a pretty much stick and play. It'll charge itself with the sun and it's on whenever it's in the dark. And that's how that light looks from the outside. We're gonna wait till that big ball of fire in the sky goes down and we'll be back with some darkness and light demos. All right, so I'm about 10 feet away from the van and as I take a step towards it, boom, here comes the backlight, lights up the whole back end of the van. And as we walk around the driver's side, as soon as we get within about, oh, there it is, eight feet of the light, lights up really nicely. You can see everything around the van when those lights come on. Really nice broad spread. And on the driver's side, again, you get within about, oh, and it lights up everything. Really happy with how this guy came out. And on the side here, let's not forget about that light we put on the step. As soon as you open the door, boom, look how bright that is. Perfect. Usually when you open the door, the only light you have is the one over top of the dash. And yeah, really can't see anything where you're stepping. But that, boom, perfect. Really happy with that. And really happy with how the visibility is all the way around the van with these lights. Inexpensive, easy to install, and really makes life a lot simpler when you're camping in the dark. Thanks for joining, guys. Really appreciate you watching. We'll see you in the next one.